vaccine passports, something that has been implemented in other parts of the world and other parts of the country, like New York and L.A., had those in place since last fall. And have they worked? Well, now they're being implemented in Cook County and Chicago. So it's not just the city of Chicago. It's also all of the uh, suburban areas of Cook County implementing this. Uh, Some Republicans, they held a news conference yesterday uh, to highlight their criticisms and concerns. We'll get to that in a moment. But, of course, your phone calls at 217-629-7970. It's the WMAY Morning News Feed. I'm Greg Bishop. Good morning. Good morning, Bishop. Fascinating. Uh, Chicago read an article in the Sun-Times. A family goes into a downtown restaurant, sign clears day, vaccinated plus masks equals entry, right? Well, the masks check. They got their cards, everything. But guess what? The only way you're let in there is if you got three shots. So you maybe have one or two. You can't come in. Is it real? Are they implementing the three shots? So you have to have the booster? Because I thought it was just, uh, you know, the, the, the either two Pfizer, two Moderna or one Johnson and Johnson. I could I could be misspoken on mistaken on that, but it, it, it's either it's either it, you can't get in without the without at least two. Right. Yeah. And that, and that was, that was made clear. Um, they said that uh, if you're not, uh, if you're not uh, two weeks after the second shot uh, starting Monday, then you can't go dine in. And uh, the numbers and the percentages of people, I appreciate the call. Uh, pretty incredible. Uh, looking at, of course, uh, when it comes to the, the percentage of um, people five and over uh, who aren't fully vaccinated, uh, you're talking about uh, 32% of Illinoisans five and older, not fully vaccinated. Uh, when you break down the uh, the vaccination rates by race, you're looking at more than 40% of Latinos not fully vaccinated. And then more than 50% of black Chicagoans are not fully vaccinated. So you can see how this causes some problems. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Does anyone else think, uh, think it's a little bit ironic that in order to eat food, you have to, in Chicago, you have to provide a vaccine passport, but in order to vote, you don't even have to have an ID, a proof of residence. You know, that's a, it's something that was brought up by some Republicans yesterday who were critical of uh, the COVID-19 vaccine mandate indoors. And here's what some of them had to say. First, you'll hear the Chicago Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection Commissioner, Ken Meyer, talking about the mandate. And then you'll hear from State Representative Tom Morrison, State Representative Chris Boss, and State Representative Marty McLaughlin, all who have constituents in Cook County being impacted by uh, the COVID-19 vaccine mandates. The requirement means any individual five years of age or older is required to show uh, proof that they are fully vaccinated against COVID-19, to dine indoors, visit gyms, enjoy entertainment venues where food and drinks are being served. BACP will investigate complaints received through Chicago's 311 system. Our residents and businesses who remain have faced so much adversity already. I talked with several business owners in my district in suburban Cook County and in surrounding areas, and here's what they wanted me to relay. They wanted to know, where's Cook County's science and data to justify these specific actions? New York and California local governments imposed a similar mandate several months ago, but look at the charts. They are seeing spiking cases too. So it proves this type of mandate does not make a difference. So in terms of event planners, um, they are making plans, not just months in advance, but in sometimes years in advance. And for an event planner, it just makes it easier to choose a venue outside of Cook County or even outside of Illinois. And who gets hurt the most? It's the bartenders. It's the wait staff. It's the dishwasher. It's anybody who is relying on tips uh, from travelers. Violent crime is the plague in Cook County, carjackings, shootings, smash and grabs. These are daily occurrences, high taxes, heavy regulations, restrictions. These are the things that are afflicting our residents and businesses. Out-migration is high because Illinois' top Democratic leaders refuse to address the real issues that are hitting our residents hard. And instead of solving real problems, they're adding to them and stepping on individual rights and civil liberties along the way. What this proof of COVID vaccination requirement does is it forces people to divulge private, personal, medical information and show a photo ID to the host at Denny's or a front desk clerk at the LA Fitness 
who very well may be just simply a teenager. People will stop going to businesses in Cook County and simply cross the street to go to the Lake County business. There are two small, small locally owned restaurants literally across the street from each other. They chose to go to the one without the mandate. We have to acknowledge that this mandate is a step too far. And the data we've seen out of New York City supports that too. These mandates don't work. You know, we're entering soon our third year of the 15 day experiment to flatten the curve. Uh, we need to learn to live with this virus and any future viruses in a better way uh, to help protect the most vulnerable of our society. The data um, clearly shows who needs to be protected at this point. Um, I am not anti vaccine, I'm pro common sense. Uh, with this mandate, as stated by Representative Boss, a person can ha have vaccination status, be COVID positive, and go into any of these establishments. How does that make any sense at all? Um, I find it reprehensible that you need uh, less information to vote or enter the country, it seems, than to go to a local pancake restaurant in Cook County. Um, I've had enough, frankly, of elected officials acting as part-time epidemiologists uh, telling us it's either vaccine or ventilator. That is uh, just some of the criticism there uh, from some Republicans. Stay tuned. More coming up.